Hello everyone. So there is a trend going around that I've seen happening on various social media websites and even on YouTube. And that is people are finding out that apparently you can order games online. People are ordering things specifically from GameStop and they are telling people, oh my gosh, I ordered a game and oh my gosh, when I ordered it, it, it came in the mail and it was the game I ordered and, and with the stuff I ordered you know it's 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 been kind of like that so of course I'm saying that a bit sarcastic like but I mean I I really don't see what the big deal is I thought I'd piggyback off of that and yes I'm, I'm hoping to get a lot of views out of this video but really I just want to see for myself because I don't know for sure I've never ordered anything from GameStop online. If I bought something from GameStop, it's been through their store. So I went through and I started ordering stuff. Uh, basically, I wanted to see what the retro game selection looked like because I did not know until I started seeing these videos that they were selling retro games at GameStop. They don't sell them in store. Apparently, they only offer them online. I think you can get them shipped to store, but I got them shipped to my house. So I, went, I ended up buying uh, just some things that caught my eye that were available. There's a lot of games on there that I wanted, but were not available. And these are games that I've seen other people buy, and I'm like, oh, I haven't been able to find that game in a while. If GameStop has it, I'll buy it off of there. Well, I, did, I don't think I found any game that was rare. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this. Keeping in mind, I have not, I have not looked at this beforehand. This is my first time unboxing it. So if like my credit card information shows up, I'll have to edit that out. Oh boy. They sent me a bubble wrap. Air pockets. This one's not even inflated. Aha! And this is about what I was expecting. I'll tell you here in a second. So here's a return label. This is everything that I've bought and the price. I'm showing this to you first because I want you to know this is what I paid for stuff. And a lot of people are saying that they unexpectedly came with the original packaging, the manual, and I'm basically here to debunk that myth. I don't think it happens that often. I think it's happened for select YouTubers and select social media personnel, because personally, I don't know if it's a ploy by GameStop. I don't think these people are getting paid by GameStop, but I honestly don't think it happens as often as these people are saying. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is an N64 game, Lego Racers. This one is not in the box. I have never played this game, but I look forward to doing it, and like I said, I haven't really seen it yet. The cartridge itself, let's go ahead and take it out of the package, let's see how it looks. I mean, it looks clean. Um, oh, here we go, all right. So the back label is torn, that does not matter to me. I know it matters to some, but really, I'm not going for the perfect collection. I'm looking for functionality, because I want to be able to play the games. This looks typical to how I would pick up a game, either at a different retro game store, uh, sometimes off of eBay, so this looks about right. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like there is either sticker residue or something that was left over right there. Let's go with another game here. Rayman 2. I actually don't own any of the Raymans for N64, and here we have another one. Okay, this does matter to me a little bit. The front label has a lot of fading. It looks like it's been scratched off here. That's supposed to be really clear. So the quality of this cartridge, I would say... If I were to buy this in a store, I would probably pass on it. I think I'll keep this because I'm not going to buy another one of these, but that's all right. It does come with a more professional label than I ever had on the side, but I'll make a custom case for it. All right, next I have Spider-Man for the Genesis. I do like that these come in their own little baggies to keep them without getting stickers on them. And this is in good condition. I, I would have purchased this, especially for this price. Uh, there is a sticker of some sort on here looks like a uh, nope it is glue somebody has drip glue on there but that's not too bad I still want to purchase this back is in good condition pin contacts are a little dusty but nothing a little cleaning can help that's that's in good condition next I have off-road challenge for the n64 again it was cheap uh, the only reason why I got this because I didn't know it was by Midway and Midway makes a lot of good arcade games that are like this. I'm hoping that this is just a port of like their, you know, Hydro Thunder was a good game by them. Back label is intact. 
All right, this is this is close. I'm not, like I said, I'm not surprised at any of this. I bought these expecting them not to have the original packaging and to be in shoddy condition. And this one is borderline unacceptable for me. I don't like that this is so worn out here. However, the reason why I think it'll be okay is because this is completely uh, legible. You can read this. I'm gonna say that this is a this is acceptable. Um, I wouldn't like it any more degraded than this is. I can make out Donald Duck. I have the whoops World of Illusion starring Disney's Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. This is in great condition. Uh, I, I have nothing bad to say about it, and I have everything good to say about it. This is what I would expect when I buy this in store, so excellent condition. So here's a GameCube game I got, and the, one of the videos I saw in particular, they, were, they had a whole bunch of GameCube games that came in the case. So this is Batman Vengeance. I got it because it was cheap, otherwise I wouldn't have got it, because this game is not the best. I remember playing it as a kid, which is why it's nostalgic for me, but it's not really the best game in the world. Here's something I noticed, and they, they noted in other videos. This right here, this little white ring that's on the inside, that's actually part of their cleaning process. So this disc has been resurfaced. You can kind of tell here. Yeah, look at those scratches. So it does have scratches, but the disc at one point in time has been resurfaced. Oh, here's one I wanted to get. Now this one I'm not disappointed in. It is very hard for me to find Sega Saturn games in the case. And I was not expecting any of these uh, Saturn games I ordered to be in the case. This is Fighting Vipers. I believe I have this already for the Sega Saturn, but mine is the Japanese version. And this was just at the right price where I thought I wanted to get the American version too. Look at the uh, look at the work on that disc. Sega Saturn discs always look kind of weird to me. If this was all I got, I would have been disappointed. Nothing in the original box. Uh, this is the complete opposite of some of the videos I've seen online when they order retro games from GameStop. Now on the flip side of this, the only reliable alternative I have to getting these games is a place like eBay. And in eBay, I say you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Let's take a look, because I didn't show you everything. Now, oh, now here's some games that came with the cases. And this is, oh my gosh. That's not a good start. I didn't plan this. You guys saw me open the box. This first case I got is, okay. Okay, I kind of understand that. First case I got is destroyed. Look at that. That's not going to protect the disc. This is very common for them to use generic cases because they don't have them. That's fine. I'll probably find another GameCube case from a game I don't care about and replace this. I will not use this case. But let's take a look at the game disc. Oh, the game disc is in good shape. I think it'll play fine. I can snap it in here, I guess, if I want to see that. So the reason why I got this game is because, believe it or not, it is hard for me to find. I think I had this game for the PlayStation 2, but I really wanted to try it out on GameCube. I'll tell you what, even though this is a generic case, I think, yeah, this insert is legitimate. So they didn't reprint this artwork or anything else like that. I've seen game stores do that. So I can get a case for it. Uh, I may have to track down the manual somewhere, but this is in great shape. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the Battle Nexus, play with up to four players. I didn't have this game, I don't usually find it in my area, so very happy to get it. And oh my gosh, look at this. Okay. We went from probably one of the worst experiences to one of the best. It's got the manual too. This is right on. Very happy with this purchase already, just from seeing that. Let's take a look at the discs. This is disc two. Disc two looks fantastic. Disc one, drum roll, looks the same as well. Looks great. Very happy with that. Fantastic purchase. Here's another game. The case is intact. The artwork is original, but the case is generic. And I did note this too. Why do they put the sleeves in here? I'm assuming, I'm assuming they don't put them in the case until they go to sell them for storage reasons. So I'm just tossing the paper sleeves aside. This may be in the best condition yet. It's, it looks pretty solid. No cleaning solution stuck inside there. TMNT. Oh, here's one I missed. Look at this, Golden Axe 2 in the box. 
And as I said that, a piece fell off. Now, if I saw this in store, I would say, yep, I should get it. There is some wear and tear on the top here. I'm okay with that. This is in, this is an acceptable condition. Oh, that's hard to open. All right, I'm sold. You got me. Excellent purchase. Came with the manual. I don't find any with the manual when I do find them in case in my stores. Excellent condition, excellent buy. So the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game did not come with the two disc case. That is unfortunate because collecting these games means I have to find a two disc case to put them in. And I don't think they're that rare. I don't think I have any here, but I can probably track one down. Discs are in excellent condition. So to tell you the truth, even though I'm not too disappointed, I kind of am. They should have at least included a generic case for me to put these in. Because all CDs should have to go on something. In fact, these didn't come with that either. So at least they're consistent, but if you buy them in the store, they don't just come on the sleeve, they usually come with a case, right? So one disadvantage. Next, TMNT Mutant Melee. You can't tell I was trying to get all the TMNT games. I have never played this game, didn't have it anywhere. Again, generic case. Uh, this game looks a little foggy because it's cold. So it's, it was sitting at the bottom of the box, so it didn't get warmed up yet before I put it on camera. Lastly, Rampage Total Destruction. I actually just saw the local video game store in my area has the same exact game complete in box without a generic case. And here we go again, this is broken. This is a broken case. Not as bad as the first one, but let me check the box here. Oh, you know what? Sorry, GameStop, but I think this one is actually the postal service that messed you up because here's the other pieces of my case. So I'll chalk that up to the shipping carrier that broke the case. So that one wasn't on GameStop, so I take that all back, all the bad stuff I said about them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I guess they could have packed it a little bit better so they're protected from the sides, but it is what it is. And here's the game, another Midway game. Disc is in great shape. All right, so that is my game lot. Uh, this is everything that I purchased on this order. Again, the grand total being that right there. And overall, I don't think this is too bad. To be quite honest, I just really don't see what the big deal is when people are ordering stuff on GameStop. This is about what I would expect to see. Let me kind of wrap this up here by saying, here is why I am surprised only at the people who are surprised when they order these games from GameStop. So when you order retro games, chances are the older the game, the less likely it is to have the case. If I were to go to a store, I would find some of them in the case, I would find some of them not in the case. The problem with ordering online is that you're ordering blind. There are some games here, like this one in particular, I would not have ordered if I didn't know it had the case because it requires a two disc thing. All the rest of these, I would expect with this not to have a case, N64 games. I mean, Sega Saturn games, I don't find very often anyway. I don't think that if you are a collector that has to have the original box, has to have the manual, this is not a viable solution. It's a crapshoot. You can get some things in the box and some things not. You're never going to know because you're not going to see everything until it gets shipped here. I mean, how many manuals did I get? I think I got two. I know Golden Axe had it and TMNT2 had it. I think that was it. That said, if you're a casual collector like me where, yeah, it has the box, fine. If not, you're not really too disappointed. This is a great way to buy retro games. I have collected enough games for the N64, the Super Nintendo, and the regular Nintendo where every game I didn't already own that GameStop had on their website was not available. Uh, there was actually a couple of Super Nintendo games that I wanted. I can't think of their names right now. But the only reason why you don't see any Nintendo or Super Nintendo games on here is because every game that they had listed on the site that was available, I already own. That's my problem because I've collected a whole bunch of games now and that's becoming, you know, it's becoming more uh, difficult to find games I don't already own. But GameCube titles, I don't have very many of them. N64 titles, there's still a few left I don't have. Genesis, there's a whole bunch of them. So again, not to go on a huge rant, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. Remember, if you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button, share with a friend. I have many more videos like this in a video series entitled Retro Game Finds. If you guys would like to see more of that, I'll have a link at the end of the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned because I have more content coming. I will see you guys next time.
If you like this video and you'd like to help out with future projects on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, if you enjoy the content of this channel, please remember to click on the subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see some of the content I've already done, feel free to click on some of the suggestions that are popping up on your screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.